Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tackle. My name is Salman Francis and in our today's video we will take a look about uh, the questions which appear in Red Hat Certified Engineering Exam version 9. So these are the sample questions and as promised, so I'm bringing you the first question. And in this question, we need to create a file called My Packages in our user's home directory in Ansible. And then we need to install a couple of packages. That's Apache, mod SSL, MariaDB. And then on prod um, group, we need to install the same packages and the development tools. And on the dev group, we need to update all the hosts packages to the latest. So I have made a couple of changes and only in my inventory file. And here you can see that node one is the member of group dev and node two is member of group prod that's it nothing <clears throat> much so i'll just quit and now let's start we will use uh, my packages dot yml and we will start writing our playbook name is going to be installing uh, packages and then we need to become uh, hosts are dev and prod become is true so we don't have issues with authentication and then tasks so our tasks are first task is to install the packages in our hosts. We will use, of course, DNF or yum. And then what we are going to do is the name of the packages is going to be a list. HTTPD, we need MariaDB. And we need modSL mod underscore SSL. Then we need to make sure that the state is started or present. Okay, and right now I'm not going to make them enabled because if uh, we run it right now, uh, if we create the, if we run the playbook right now and if the packages are not already installed and if we try to run in the dry mode it will give us error so first we will run it in dry mode and then we will make changes to this playbook so right now it's the state is present and then what we need to do is we need to go to our second task we need to create our second task and in that task we are asked to install development tools in our prod group. Again, we will use DNF and the name is going to be this time uh, development tool. So since it's a group of tools, we need to use at the rate symbol development tools and we need to mention that when we need to use this, when um, prod and group names. So this is done. Then we are asked our final task is install uh, make sure to update make sure all hosts packages are update in updated in dev group so we need to check um, we are going to use dnf again and name 
is going to be in because we need to uh, make sure that all the packages are updated so we will use asterisk and state is going to be latest and when again we will use when dev is in group names all right guys so i hope this will solve our issue so let's run our uh, playbook first in the dry mode ansible dash playbook and we will use our my packages dash capital C to run in dry uh, dry run as a dry run and so far so good and good it's skipping uh, node one perfect so this will this will basically solve our question like this is the answer to our question so but if it they ask us to enable the packages uh, while in uh, do, uh, with this playbook, what we need to do is we need to make a couple of changes, and we're going to use. But you know what? Let's let's run it first, so we will have a clear understanding. So I'm not going to use dry run now. I'm going to use this. So just to make sure, nothing is installed on our node one. Okay, and not on node 2 as well. I'm going to run this. It will take a while. Installing the packages in our hosts. So it has changed both of the nodes. Installing the dev tools in our prod. Now it's it has installed all the packages. We can see that everything is good. Nothing failed. So just let's go to our node one and node two and check. Before it was giving us error. Now we can see that status is uh, HTTP. It's telling that it's installed, but it has not started. And then uh, regarding MariaDB. So unit MariaDB service could not be found, but I know it's start, it, it is there because we need to start it. So what we can do right now is, so this is basically done because we can check with MySQL actually. So here you can see that MySQL command is available now. Okay, so now what we can do is we can just make a couple of changes in our playbook. So it will help the services start automatically and, in, and enable them as well. So we can just go to, we can create another play here Make sure the services are started and enabled. So we are going to use service module for this. And of course, the name, we are going to use uh, items here since there are more than one services. So to use this, we will use item and then, of course, we need to make sure that the state is started and the services are enabled. And then we will use the loop because we need to tell what kind of services uh, we want to start and enable. So these are going to be list. That's it. 
let's run the play again. Okay, it's giving an error. The tensible loop changed. RDB could not be found on host. I think there's some issue with. Let me check the playbook. Oh, you know what? There's no MariaDB, by the way. It should be MariaDB-server. So that is the issue. Let's run our my packages again. And I think that MySQL was from some other playbook. The package is MariaDB-server and the service is MariaDB. Yes, now it's working. So guys, I keep the errors in the video so you guys can understand like how to troubleshoot them. So now let's check if we have successfully installed both and they are enabled. System CTL uh, status. Before you can, we saw that it was disabled and this time it's running, perfect. What about MariaDB? Perfect, now it's installed and it's working. So we have completed our task for today. So thank you for watching. And I will just, uh, I think I will post these you know, solution on my website. So just visit uh, teco.net, T-E-K-C-O.net and you will find these uh, solutions there. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and don't forget to like my video. Until then, goodbye.